Hey guys, I like to push the barriers when it comes to web applications. I want to I want to give native applications a run for their money. So there's this new technology called React.js from from Facebook which I dove into in the last couple of weeks and I thought I'd make a video, quick video sharing what I've learned. So um, to begin with, I I highly recommend the, the React.js fiddle and um, and if you run into problems, I also recommend IRC, the Hat Re ReactJS cha channel and community are frankly awesome. And the the big thing to understand with with ReactJS over other other sort of frameworks, well, ReactJS is not a framework. Um, typically, I use this other thing called Reactive for smaller projects, but the, the, I, can, I really see the potential here with React. Uh, since you can sort of like make your own markup, which is really, really powerful. Uh, here is a very simple example where the, someone's made up the markup, hello, and you make a parameter called name, and then you can just pass in hello world. So if I change that to hello YouTubers, uh, you'll see what I mean, hopefully. Come on, run. So what, um, the sort of problem with React is that it um, relies on ES6 or and ES7 and everything has to be transpiled so the tool chain is a little bit ugly and uh, yeah working in JS Fiddle is a bit horrible like I think yeah if you click tidy you get this nonsense so I ended up just creating my own project and the painful thing to do it you can do it the simple complicated way I'm doing it the simple way just just naming every file here um, but at the same time I'm I'm familiar with ES6 and ES7, so I spent some time um, setting up ESLint with the Vim, and that took me like practically a whole day. And this configuration file is absolutely mad. But once you've got a working setup, it's it it's really it's really great. So here's another example, which um, I'm hoping that can that can further explain the cool things about um, React JS. So a big part of ReactJS is like this this idea of setting state. It's basically um, the what the the rendering of what you see. And let me just quickly show you this example in my browser. So the idea is that like, sorry, is that it has a state and it does something, and and it's actually like like crazy fast and and, and brilliant to work with actually. Um, but here's here's where it gets powerful here. Um, uh, okay, so you have the render thing, you have the um, you have the handle click uh, thing for handling when you click that that checkbox, and then you need to in set up the initial state, which is a little bit of, feels a bit bureaucratic, but it works really well. So so basically, I've created the stupid tag to, for for to demonstrate to you hide show image, and now uh, and I pass you pass the image name, but if I if I uh, like. Um, set another image, uh, hopefully I get this right. Uh, you can see that um, it is just really easy to reuse this sort of uh, tag. Let's see, my make files just copy it up there. So now there should be two, so one is that and one is my face. Isn't that awesome? Um, and it's really easy to to create new, um, new tags. Um, so a, a tag should have have some well some stuff going on inside. So let's if I just as I mentioned there was a hello there. You ha the syntax is a little bit pedantic. Okay, so um, and to create your own hello thing and something like that. Hello, you fool. I love you. Yeah, I remember. I remember, Roxette. Who does? Who else does? Please leave a comment. <laughs> Roxette. Um, uh, so, so that's that's how easy it is to create it like a tag, but obviously you should do something with it and something more interesting than that. Uh, okay, will, it, will that work? Um, yeah. So that's how easy it is to work with, but more complicated setups use uh, something like Webpack, and that uses uh, a ton of uh, NPM dependencies, and uh, 
But the cool thing is that you can make changes and it's like instantly reloaded. So yeah, the tool chain with React is, is something else, but um, I recommend it, you keep it simple like I just did here. I kept it real simple and I just, yeah, have a make file to go to my web server. What else is there to say? Um, there, there were some gotchas along the way. Um, like the data flow aspect with React.js is a little bit confusing. It kind of just flows down and like through the props, through the attributes of the tag. But you, you, there are ways to get it back up, which you kind of need to do in a, in a complicated uh, application. So let me just show you Webpack quickly. Let me just show you Webpack. Um, and obviously, as I mentioned, React.js is not, um, not a framework. So what does that mean? That means that you have to like pull in a whole lot of stuff to get things kind of working like you might expect it to do. Uh, ooh, um, let's see, this one's been structured like this. React, so look at this, I changed this thing like, YouTube, and look at that, it's instantly reloaded. But um, I'm actually more of the old school, keep it simple approach, because I, I, all this Webpack stuff is just too newfangled for me. But okay, so you can make your own tags, but this is where it really gets awesome. You can actually, um, you know, npm search and find um, other imp other tags that people have like invented and use them. So I need I needed to generate a form out of schema, and um, there's this basically a, a project called React JSON's Former Scheme, and here here I am using it. And and all you need to do is use this sort of syntax to 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 bring in that tag, and then you start using it and you can get like like amazing powerful results by by using the um, the work of the other community so I hope that was a good little introduction to react js um, I think it's it, it really makes sense for building bigger applications um, and uh, if you have any questions or you you want to know a little bit more about what I think about react uh, please uh, let me know and uh, I'll try my best to answer it because um, I'm learning too with you guys. Okay. Cheers, guys.